days it's going to feel just like summer and Boise police are getting ready to launch a campaign designed to remind you to look before you lock. It's their way of reminding you to not lock small children or pets in hot cars. We have team coverage on this topic. Our Shira Matsuzawa spoke with the Boise police this afternoon. Bree is standing by with a look at the forecast heating up. Shira, let's start with you. This is something that we talk about at this time every single year, but unfortunately, at least once a year, we're talking about a tragedy. That's right, and we talk about it every year because since 1990, nearly 1,000 kids have died in hot cars nationwide, and that's according to kidsandcars.org. Now, last year, we lost 25 kids, and this year, there's already been one death. Experts say a child's body heats up three to five times faster than an adult's body does, and when you factor in that the inside of a car can heat up 20 to 30 degrees warmer than outside temperatures, those two things can make a deadly combination. Five minutes is not okay to leave a baby in a car or a dog or anything that you want to come back and find a lot. Every year, when the weather gets warmer, Wesley Almer is reminded about what happened to his grandson, Logan. My grandson was left in a hot car, not on purpose. God, it wasn't that. It was a dog fight at the house. All the kids and everybody jumped out and grabbed the dogs, pulled the dogs apart. And after that all calmed down, everybody asked, where's Logan, my grandson? And he had been forgotten in the car. My grandson did not make it. That was two years ago in Arkansas. But on Monday, Wesley was walking out of a store when he spotted a baby left alone in a car. And immediately brought me back to my son's dad. He says he went back in the store and looked for the car owner. And then I walked them out to their car. And I said, that right there is how my grandson died. And they looked at me and said, but well, we were only going in for a minute. You don't know what's happening with that baby when that baby's in that car asleep. That baby's not going to jump up and say, hey, I'm dying here. Help me. Probably this front one. It's the cheapest one. They do. Watch out. Yeah, I can. Oh. If you Boise police get calls about similar incidents every year. We do take it very seriously. We obviously don't want to see a kid get hurt. Lieutenant Josiah Ransom understands it can be inconvenient with kids to do a quick errand, but he says it's more important to keep kids safe. It's that time of the year where even if you just try to do that quick errand, realize that your car gets extremely hot, extremely fast. For example, on a day when it's 75 degrees outside, within 10 minutes, the inside of a car can heat up to 94 degrees. And within 30 minutes, that temperature skyrockets to 109. Wesley is now using what he saw happen at the store on Monday to share his message so another family doesn't experience what his family has. First I got angry, and then I started crying, and I couldn't stop crying. I cried for two hours because that baby can't help itself. That baby can't do anything for itself. It's just a minute. I understand, but it's not worth it. And experts say heat stroke can happen when the outside temperature is as low as 57 degrees. And this reminder goes for anyone who has pets as well. Boise Police, along with a number of other agencies like Boise Fire and St. Luke's, will roll out their third annual Look Before You Lock campaign later this month. Idaho law protects a person from civil or criminal liability or charges when it comes to breaking a window to save a person, but not an animal. Now, Lieutenant Ransom says use discretion, though, and make sure to call 911 if you see this happen. A person who leaves their child in a car could face a misdemeanor or felony, depending on the injury to the child. Mark.